I've been an athlete pretty much all my life. I was into speed skating, long track speed skating when I was younger. And once that career sort of ended, I found kiteboarding and I just fell in love with it because it never felt like I was going to an arena. I'm always going to a place where it's full of adventure. Just took off from there. I'm gonna fly. Your kite flying skills is 75% of what it is to snow kite or kite surf or hydrofoil or whatever genre you do of the sport. They're all very similar and it's, it's so exciting to always have a changing sport. There's certain kites that are better for certain conditions, but it's more or less the same equipment. It's all transferable from water to snow and you just change the vessel underneath your feet. It's an adventure sport wherever you go. You always want to make sure your gear is in top-notch condition. If you're not looking after it and you're being rough with your gear, just like anything, it's going to fail on you. Treat all your gear with respect and it will give you it back. <laughs> For recreational riding, you just need a basic level of fitness and you can take right off with it. It's really accessible. That's a great part about the sport. You don't, you don't need a big vehicle or anything to do it. All the gear packs up nicely. It's relatively affordable. It's great. Training for it is just a lot of core strength. Always try to keep my core strong. Sit-ups in the morning, doing bridges and keeping the upper body strength. And then hopping on bike, even just doing stuff that I enjoy. I don't ever want it to feel like I, I'm dragging myself to the gym or anything. I'm running out the door to do, I'm not dragging myself there to do it. It's a sport where you have to clear your head, but you gotta pay attention, you gotta be aware. If you spend enough time with the equipment, it's second nature to, to do those things. So it's just time and uh, practice that makes perfect. A lot of it is strategy and knowing wind directions and knowing where you are and where the wind's coming from. It works just like a sailboat. You're always going 90 degrees to your right or to your left, starboard or port, working your way against the wind or working your way downwind. It's all about precision and uh, keeping in control and having a very, very good idea of what you're doing. You wanna make sure your kite doesn't overpower you. You're, you're always in control. If you're not in control, you're probably gonna get overpowered and you're gonna get too much speed in a direction you don't want, so the key is control. Two of the lines on the kite are, are static lines, and what they do is they hold all the tension and, and all the pull. And the other two lines on the kite they control how much power you are getting out of the kite, as well as the direction the kite will fly. You can break 100 kilometers an hour if you have the right wind speeds. It's a very, very fast sport. It's a little bit nail biting because you know if, if you have a train wreck, you're gonna end up in the hospital possibly. My favorite part is probably the feeling of uh, you can turn the kite into a bit of like a glider, almost like a paraglider. The, the equipment's not built to do that, but the feeling of flying is just too good to resist. And yeah, that's probably one of my favorite parts of it. You can essentially stay in the air for quite a long time. I think my longest flight's probably like a minute 40 uh, with a kite, which is unbelievable. Most people would see it as just a surface sport, but you can turn it into a very extreme sport when you start to fly and you can hit like over 100 feet easy but you want to stay on the safe side and only fly at least 20 feet off the ground tops. The kites in the last few years, they, the research and just the development that's gone into what makes a good race kite or any kite in that matter has really, really skyrocketed and now we have these kites that will get us into conditions that we normally couldn't kite in. They really reduce the weight of the kite. They fly themselves almost. It's incredible. You're harnessing this natural power that is always there even though you can't see it. It's just a really cool feeling to get that much adrenaline from such a simple thing.